Hey guys, Dirtbag Gaming here. We're going to be doing another Raid Shadow Legends video for you guys. Uh, if you guys didn't hear, uh, there's going to be a summoning event coming on Monday. And I wanted to make a video for you guys who uh, maybe are brand new or need to uh, prepare for this fusion because we just had a fusion for the uh, Ogren Tribe guy. So we're kind of doing it back to back now, which is which is new to us. So a lot of us aren't really prepared. So I'm going to make this video to, to, to go over what to do to prepare for these fusions, just to kind of make it simpler for you guys. So here's an example of what you'll see when you first open up the game when there is a fusion. It'll look something like the, the drop goal that we got the other day. Let's click read more. It's going to give you exactly how to plan your week uh, or weeks to try and summon this guy. Now, when we first start off, there might be a Dungeon Divers event, uh, Artifact Enhancement, Summoning uh, Rush, Champion Training events. And it's going to show you what champions are going to come in to play for you to actually grab that champion from that event. So whatever champions you don't have for the fusion, because it is going to be a normal fusion, um, just go in, figure out which ones you don't have, really plan on which one you're going to really attack to try and get that, uh, that guy. Because with this type of fusion, if you miss that person, you might just miss out on the entire fusion, which I, I've heard and seen before. So first off, when you when you get the fusion released, check this first and really go over what champions are going to be going to, going to be coming out for you that you don't have. And obviously, you have to see which ones you don't have first. But let's go over to um, the champions page. Now, also, if you guys haven't been doing this, let's say you're a newer player, I would always suggest saving one of each champion, um, especially if you're brand new. Um, of the blues because the blues are going to be the ones that are just there's so many of them that you want to save at least one copy of each each blue so let's scroll down i have a lot of blues uh saved up go 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 so all the way down here you start getting the void blues which are harder to get because the void shards uh then you got the red red blues and then you got the blue blues and then we're going down to the greens now Again, I try to again keep just one copy because space is limited. For you guys starting out, I think you might have a hundred in the vault, um, but that's plenty, especially when, when you're starting out. So scrolling up, just making sure that you're not keeping dupes because if you have duplicate uh, of these guys that aren't really that good, just just get rid of one uh, to make some space. But if you have the lot saved, uh, you get to check which ones you do and do not have. I like that in the game they added. During the fusions, it put a little red dot next to the guy where it shows you if you have that guy already, which makes it so much easier to kind of see um, who's in the vault and who's not in the vault. So that's the first thing is really see and plan on what characters you have and which ones you have to plan for. Um, because the, the first fusion that I did was, was the Rosin fusion. He was one of the best ones, and everybody can do it in the game. Um, if you can fuse this guy, fuse this guy. So that, that's my first tip is make sure you save all the champions, uh, at least one copy of each. And then during the day of the fusion, make sure you see which ones you do and do not have and really attack the, those tournaments. Because if you're doing tournaments that you don't really need to, you're kind of wasting your energy because in this game, it's everything, your, your energy. Um, and just plan on which ones you're going to attack and which ones you're not going to attack. If you're like me, normal gamer, not a whale, this is probably something that you're looking at on your screen or you might have under 400 diamonds or close to 400 diamonds. This I've been saving up for, for a long time because we just had the, um, the spiders tournament. So I've been, you know, just selling all my gear. Um, these you'll get replaced every day. These you'll get replaced every day and you have something around the 130 energy. So this is what a normal person is going to be seeing. You're not going to be the, the whale guy that has 25,000 diamonds on your account because that's just going to be super easy for that guy. But this is for the normal player, mid-game player that needs to save and plan around their events. My second tip is to go based off of your quests. Now, what I like to do with my quests is I like to save my weekly quests for these types of events. Um, for here, I, I saved my energy there, and I'm going to obviously ascend a champion that's really easy. You can ascend a um, two-star champion and use almost no mats to try and send him to get this, this free uh, energy. And obviously, once this is done, the five days, which will be later today, if not tomorrow, you click it, um, use these two up, and then when you claim it, you can automatically get another two energy 
by upgrading a level 3 and ascending another champion. So that's essentially 4 energies you just got in 2 minutes. Um, so that's another tip is like really plan this uh, energy saving around these types of uh, events. The monthly that's kind of harder to plan just because they're, they're a month long. Uh, and it takes like 200 arena wins or 150 to, to get the energy uh, and then upgrade to artifacts level 16, which again, not all of us have 20 million silver just lying around. The advanced quests are great. I love that they added this, that they can add um, new energy. So I think it's like a 50 energy that you get every day and then the uh, free full energy refill. You can save those as well. So I don't like to spend it on the day that I get it. Um, sometimes I do if there's nothing planned, but if, if I know that something's coming up or something hasn't been going for a long time, I know something's coming up soon. So I won't spend my energy right away. I'll save it for at least the next day, maybe before seven or eight o'clock before they hit the reset. Then I'll use my energy. You always want to use your energy. Don't waste your energy. But that's another tip is to really manage your energy efficiently. Um, just because the events like this, if you miss one guy, you miss the entire summons. So that's the second one. The, the last one is when you're leveling up your champions, you're going to need a XP boost. So the weekly long XP boost is perfect for that because you're going to be 24 hours free XP boost um, to level up those champions. So whether it be saving up 140 diamonds to buy your XP boost or wait for that weekly XP boost for that summoning day, hit it, boom, you get your other two energies, uh, and then boom, you're already off to a great start. So make sure you have that XP boost or make sure you have 140 diamonds to get that XP boost for the summoning event. Most of the time, you're going to need four four-star champions all ascended uh, to get that one epic champion. Hopefully, you have an epic champion in your vault. If you don't, again, you need to get that epic champion. But another thing to prepare for, this is the third tip, is to make sure that your um, potions are up to date. So if we go into dungeons, all of these um, uh, keeps are what you want to be saving up your potions for. Now the arcane keep, it's open every single day, so you can get that any, anytime uh, you're free. Right now there's nothing going on, um, so I try and far <coughs> farm these just to you know, get these back up because they work for everything. As you can see, I have 8 big ones, 34 medium, and 4 and 84 small. The amount of cash or, or silver it takes to get these to these <clears throat> is not really worth it like it takes so much silver especially for a mid to early game player that you're gonna want to just farm these to these okay or just straight these um it, it's just too much silver for, for the normal player so farm these up uh whenever there's nothing going on but um this one let, let, this is going on today that i have an hour left <laughs> Let's see how many, how many red potions I have. So this one I'm good. This one I have 19, 51, and, and 5, 10. So this one I should be good. If I need to get, you know, one, two later on, it'll come up next week uh, or open back up in a couple days. But I know that next is going to be this one. Opens up Saturday. So I know the magic keep, I don't want to spend diamonds, but the magic keep is going to be opening up today or essentially in, in an hour. So I know if I need the magic, this is what I'm going to be planning for next. So that's uh, the second suggestion on making sure that you have enough um, potions because you're going to need them for the fusion. Lastly is really just knowing that you have the campaign farmer to make sure that you're just really going boom, 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 leveling up these champs as soon as possible. If you already have, um, see again, we don't know what champions they're going to use. So you might be looking at your champion list and you're like, all right, I have a whole bunch of level ones. Do I want to waste my time leveling this up if I don't even use them? So hopefully, you know, you don't waste your time on that. But those are some tips to help new guys, if not mid game players, prepare for the summoning event or fusion event that's going to be coming up. Um, this could be used for the one that's coming up on Monday. This could also be used for the ones that are coming up in the future. Uh, it's not the fragment event, so it's the straight uh, old school summoning event. The fragment event is a little bit easier just because you're doing almost every single uh, tournament uh, and event just to get those fragments. This one is a little bit more strategic. You have to figure out which ones you're aiming for, which ones you're not aiming for. If you have a, a champion that you, that you already have, don't go crazy on that event. 
save your energy, save your potions, save your diamonds for the ones you actually really need to go after because then you're not going to waste your summoning um, fusion. Okay. So uh, if there's any other questions, uh, definitely leave a comment below. Um, but obviously, uh, I'm here to help you guys out. So again, use this for the fusions now, use it for the fusions later. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like the video, subscribe to the video because again, there's going to be a lot more coming soon. Uh, thanks, guys, and have a great day.